Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my most and least used bags of 2022. Woohoo! Yep, and I know I am pretty late on this bandwagon, but I only started my channel um, in December, actually Christmas Eve, so that's my excuse. Anyway, to let's start with which way should we start first? I guess let's start with my least use. I don't have it here right now. My least use bag is, or number three of my least use bag is, dang it, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull PM. I have the Neverfull Louis Vuitton, and it was actually um, my first luxury handbag. It's not with me right now. Uh, I'll put a picture up. It is at uh, Louis Vuitton Spa, or whatever you call it, um, getting the Vachetta straps replaced. I'm planning hopefully 2023 once I get it back, whenever that is, months and months later, to be able to use her more. I hadn't treated her the best or stored her the best I could just because I've had her since I was a teenager and I didn't really, I was stupid, I just didn't know how to properly store and manage my bag even though my late mother kept on telling me and she was right to store it properly, put it away, don't leave it in the sun, I did all those things. Um, so it was quite dry, the machete and cracking. Do -de -do -de -do 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 -de -do -de -do -do Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do -do. Ding ding. But um, yeah, uh, that was number three least used because I've used her zero times. My second least used bag of twenty twenty two is. Damn it. This girl. So this cutie is my Chanel small classic flap in pink. It's like a Barbie pink. I think it was, I'm really bad with Chanel seasons, but this was, I think, season 20 or 21, something. Uh, it has champagne gold hardware, and I loved her, especially because I bought her, I think, was I just, did my daughter just get born or I was pregnant with her? Anyway, I was in a very pink mood then. I even had pink hair and I wore her a lot. But I guess 2022, I was really deep into browns, neutral tones, and so she didn't get any use. I'm hoping to change that in 23. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so my third least used bag of 2022 is... Ding, 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 ding. What? Damn it. My... Kelly 28. This is my Hermes Kelly 28 in Etope, um, Epsom leather and palladium hardware. I think I wore her maybe two or three times this year. And the reason I haven't been reaching for her as much isn't because I don't love her. I really love her and she's definitely a forever piece. It's because I found that with a toddler and if I'm going out, even with my husband or with my nanny, it's just too much work to try to open her up because I prefer her uh, completely closed up, no sangles dangling kind of thing. And it's just, it just too, takes too long. No one wants to wait in line and be like, sorry, can I just like open the sangle and da 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 da. Um, yeah, but I'm hoping to change that just because it's such a perfect color. I love the taupe color. Um, I love the Kelly look. It's so convenient with the um, crossbody strap or the, I should I say the shoulder strap, which I do also use crossbody. Um, and maybe I'll do some modeling shots of that in another video. Um, yeah, that's, I guess, why I haven't used her as much. Hopefully going to change in 2023. We'll see. Ding, ding. All right. So now let's get to my most used three bags of 2022, starting with third place. Yay. My third most used bag of 2023 is, surprisingly, this guy, I say surprisingly because in 2021, I barely used this bag at all. Um, but the reason it's number three is because I did a trip with my late dog, Teddy, and I used her as my only bag the entire trip. She was wonderful. And I reached for this bag a lot, especially in the summer kind of spring uh, months when I did short trips. She is an oldie, but a goodie. And she comes in at number three. All right, my second most used bag is my 
，晚安。Birkin 25. This is my Birk Hermes Birkin 25 in Swiss leather, color biscuit and gold hardware. And I, for every weekend, like we usually go out on the weekends, um, my husband, my whole family, daughter and I. Um, and if I'm going out, I usually try to reach for her just because I'm, I figure, you know, YOLO, life is short. I might as well just get use out of the bag. What's the point of her sitting in my closet kind of thing? So I've been reaching for her a lot. Teddy. I mean, <laughs> moon puff. Unhand me, you peasant. You donkey. Damn it. All right, and my number one most used bag da -da 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 of 2022 is... Amazing. My LV Pochette Felicity, which I also, of course, don't have with me right now. And the reason for that is the glazing on the side where the D rings are had kind of chipped. And I don't know, that's probably just from normal wear and tear, but mm, part of me suspects that you guys know my bias is made in France. That is my only, I think, made in USA bag. Maybe I have a backpack that's also made in USA, but anyway, I digress. I think made in USA has a bit of quality issues. Anyway. Long story short, I've sent her back to the Louis Vuitton spa to be reglazed. I don't know how much that'll cost me, but once I get her back, I'll let you guys know the full story and how that turned out. And so yeah, that was my top three, and I guess bottom three, most and least used bags of 2022. I hope that was interesting for you guys, and let me know what you guys think. If you have suggestions for any new videos, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Janet. Ding ding! Do 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 Thanks for watching! Come again! Bye bye!